Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Zard here. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been about two weeks since I last uploaded. I know it's been a fat minute. And the time that I haven't uploaded, we hit 700 subscribers and went back down to 699. So, but don't worry, the count's still. We're still at 700. So I'm still doing the predator catch. You guys don't have to fucking worry. I'm doing the predator catch. It's coming soon, but I have to pump out some videos right now. I had some family in town. Couldn't really upload because my setup's in my fucking living room. Um, and I had to play Elden Ring because I got a big review video on it coming soon. But I'm, I'm going to cut the bullshit so you guys can just, you know, listen to me yap about this fucking huge Cody Code drama that's going on. But before we get into that, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that good shit. Um, but now let's get into the video. Um, so Cody Co, this guy is fucking massive. A huge a huge fuck one of the biggest content creators who's ever done like the commentary style video look at this guy 6.15 million subscribers easily pulls almost 2 million views every time he uploads like this guy's on like moist critical level of fame when it comes to commentary youtube which is fucking massive you don't know moist critical is one of the biggest fucking youtubers who's ever done it and recently some huge allegations have came out about him recently regarding some freaky shit he did with a minor i know i know guys why does it keep happening it keeps happening bro like i feel what is 2024 bro is 2024 the year of like is this the freak year how many fucking content creators and famous people are going to fucking get caught for fucking molesting and touching kids we got fucking drake caught diddy caught um fucking dr disrespect caught and now cody ko's fucking touching the kids too could you imagine that guys drake's not beating the allegations this year fucking dr disrespect's not beating the allegations this year looks like cody ko isn't easy either but you know who it did beat the allegations this year the fucking moog lester himself moog from elden ring beat the allegations this year he did not he did not molest kindly mikola he was hypnotized isn't that fucking something guys isn't that something at least moog got beat the allegations but from what i'm seeing cody ko is not beating these allegations it is pretty crazy so apparently i'm gonna give you guys some rundown real quick apparently a couple years ago when he was about 25 and tana mojo a super huge content creator she was really big back in like 2017 she did like story time videos but she was also really hated for the TanaCon shit we're not gonna talk about all that here um i could make a whole like docu series on her because she has like a fucking like a very muddy past so whenever she says something it's not really taken seriously but back to the story he was at a party with her when she was 17 and he was about 25 and they were making out and shit and he was told by other people at the party she's 17 she's not of age dude he's like oh okay thank you and then he banged her that night and she's been saying yeah he fucked me when i was 17 and he was 25 this whole time nobody really took it any seriously because nobody likes tana mojo but like it's kind of fucked up but at the same time i do kind of get why people don't trust her there is enough proof now for it to be pretty clear that he did it um but i can see why people don't believe her because it's tana mojo she's lied a lot it's like kind of a boy who cries wolf type of situation when you lie about people a lot you know it's going to be hard for people to believe you when something actually did happen to you but now d'angelo wallace another absolutely massive commentary channel has come out with an exposed video reiterating these allegations that have been going around to everyone a lot so we're going to watch part of his video i'm going to leak leak link this original video in the fucking description of my video because you should definitely go watch this video guys video it's probably a lot better made than mine um but you know you know i'm the goat so like you guys are here to watch me but you know of course i'll link it because you guys should watch this video it is a well-made video but we're gonna watch part of it here fully aware of her age at the time but someone even tried to stop you and you went ahead anyway there was a situation with gabby hannah at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like yo she's 17 and then we still went and hooked up to be clear 17 is under the age of consent in many states including florida where playlist live used to take place so this means that tana mojo is accusing you of statutory rape and she's not trying to hide that this isn't just some crazy tea it was a crime nothing would make this situation better but plenty of things make it worse like the fact that she was a fan of yours at the time adding an additional layer to the power dynamic you would have had over her i grew up loving him and i think i you know what i mean like i yeah. was just like excited and a fan tana seems to have many feelings 
So there's also a lot of people defending Cody Ko on this, weirdly enough. Like, it's so weird. Like, with Dr. Disrespect and Cody Ko, who both been exposed with pretty decently hard evidence. I'm going to get into the, like, the harder evidence in a minute. But with pretty decently hard evidence, and there's people still defending him. Like, there's still people like, oh, I can't wait for you to come back, Dr. Disrespect. Don't worry. Don't let the haters bother you. Don't let the haters bother you. It's okay, Doc. Uh, and people are doing the same shit, defending Cody Ko, saying, bro, it's just 17. Like, she's about to be an adult. It's still against the law, dude. Like, if you're drinking and you're, like... It's like, say you're, like, you're 20 and a half. And you get caught drinking by a cop. You are still going to go to jail. It's still against the law. It's still not okay. Honestly, I think you shouldn't even be allowed to drink till you're, like, 24 on that topic. But that's another topic. But, yeah, it's still against the law. It's still kind of weird. Like, you know, like, maybe I can get it if it's, like, 19, 18, and 17. Like, you guys started... I mean, especially if you guys were dating when you were both minors. Because there's literally the statue of Romeo and Juliet that protects that. Um, but, yeah, still super fucking weird. And there's more evidence in this when... Um, another podcast happened this is like a super like rare clip i'm sure cody's team fucking covered this shit up and that's why it's so hard to find d'angelo wallace in this video says it was kind of a pain for him to find but it was of G abby hannah reiterating tana mojo's story on a different podcast i don't even think tana mojo was on this podcast and this is a third party reiterating saying yes this happened which is i mean G abby does have a history of lying too but it's kind of weird for two completely different um different entities reaffirming the same story about him having sex with someone under the age of 18. Everything allegedly went down. Well, did you know that Gabby is actually on record telling the exact same story several years ago? One time, I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know, I know she like looks a little older, she's underage, watch it. And he's like, oh my god, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that. This is really, really bad. People make accusations all the time, specifically regarding things that are very difficult to prove or disprove, unfortunate as that may be. But when somebody makes an allegation and they say they have a witness, and that witness can be found telling the exact same story years before any of this came out, that's not something I can just ignore. In a situation that definitely is not like he said, you can't really ignore that. And I think this definitely does warrant a what in-depth response from cody co which we haven't gone yet i looked through twitter he hasn't posted anything I, I think we need a video actually and the last time he got accused of some crazy shit like this he fucking paywalled his apology video which is just fucking wild we, he better not drop no paid wall apology i need we need an in-depth response like i get it like sometimes when people are just throwing out slanderous claims like with dream for example dream never had any like sorry i just fucking burped never had any relationships with any minors he proved it um so so when people were just spewing slanderous retarded claims he should have just fucking ignored it and it would have been fine and he did ignore it and it was fine for a very long time but there is hard evidence i'm a big believer in just ignore the allegations when there's no evidence but there's pretty decently hard evidence hard evidence enough that warrants a response obviously there's no like it didn't fucking happen on camera or anything there's not that hard of evidence but there's hard enough evidence where it warrants a fucking response and he's been ignoring it is his fucking dude honestly the fact that this hasn't come up till now when this happened let's see how old is tana mojo how old how old is hannah mojo she's 26 years old so what that happened 90 years ago this has been swept under the little rug and not been talked about for nine fucking years that just reiterates my fucking grandiose theory that if you don't want to get canceled it doesn't matter how egregious what you did was if you don't want to get canceled if you just don't open the app fucking twitter you will you will be fucking fine if dr disrespect didn't own twitter he would be in the clear right now he like mo the allegations probably would have disappeared into um irrelevancy so if you guys don't want to get canceled don't fucking download twitter honestly i don't even tweet on twitter i just repost my streams i just have twitter to report all the drama that's going on to you guys because i refuse to get that fucking app dude because like if i blow up i know that there's gonna be a bunch of slanderous ass shit on there and if i respond to it i'm gonna make it fucking worse why like just don't get twitter guys 
There's even been times where people have had false allegations like Dream and they ended up like people every like a lot of people think Dream is a molester because he started responding to allegations that weren't true. It's so stupid. Don't fucking download Twitter, guys. Don't, especially if you want like ha want a future in content creation. But here is him talking about how Cody Ko has been, you know, censoring the comments on his post ever since the beginning of this. We're going to watch this section. Every day now. I couldn't find a single comment on your last video about this situation. Not even one. Comparing that to the comment section on your Instagram where every single comment I saw was about this, it's clear that you're heavily censoring your audience on YouTube. But surely you must have realized the limits by now since people have just transferred the conversation over to your wife's channel. The fact that her comment section is overrun due to your decision to stay silent about this should be all the proof you need that that decision was wrong at this point. So this is just this is just ridiculous. Like his wife is just getting like completely bashed on her channel now because he won't just come out and fucking explain himself. That's so fucking lame. You know, this like Cody, even if you didn't do it, you're not a fucking man anymore. If you're really sitting there letting your wife take all the heat for this shit that you caused, this is just fucking gross, dude. Fucking come out and make a response. You like this, you are not a man if you don't come out and fucking respond to this shit. And to make things even fucking worse, things came out showing that he is friends with people that have, like, R-word shit on their fucking records. Which is just gross. I don't even want to get into that because, like, I don't want to get demonetized or flagged or anything. So I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah, he is friends with, like, like certified weirdos. But you could watch D'Angelo's Wallace video on this because, you know, he's fucking famous. He's way less likely to get striked. So go watch his video. Um, but yeah, that's basically the wrap up of everything that happened. Really disgusting situation, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, though. Please leave a like, subscribe. It helps more than you know. I have a Patreon, by the way. You guys should go check it out. And I should hurry up and wrap out this video because there's a fucking dust storm going over. I don't know if you hear it, but it is raging right now. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see y'all in the next one.